I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. If, if you say the dumbest of humans, you know, almost ineffective in society is around 60 to 70 IQ. I, I think, I think uh, humanoid robots will be the biggest product ever. Uh, the demand will be insatiable. Um, you said that everyone's going to want one. You it's said like basically, who wouldn't want? Robotics uses this AI-powered robot that can climb up wind turbines and into nuclear power plants to test critical infrastructure. Including Hold on to your seats, tech fans. Boston Dynamics just dropped a mind-blowing update. Their Atlas robot actually thinks. That's right. This isn't just a robot anymore. It's a smart, interactive machine that perceives, reacts, and maybe even understands us. And if you thought this week's breakthroughs were impressive, from robots cooking dumplings to Mars-bound rockets, this one takes the cake. The future of AI and robotics is here, and it's more incredible than ever. Boston Dynamics Atlas. Imagine a robot that walks, lifts, and manipulates objects with the agility of a seasoned human worker. That's been the dream for decades, and Boston Dynamics has been at the forefront of turning it into reality. Their latest achievement, equipping Atlas with a perception system so refined that it can fix car parts amidst chaos, even when the environment shifts and objects move unexpectedly. This isn't just about adding cameras or sensors, it's a technological leap. The new perception stack combines a sophisticated 2D layer that labels everything in the scene, floors, shelves, brake calipers, with a 3D layer that maps key points around objects. This gives Atlas a kind of spatial awareness that's almost human. It can recognize the precise slot for a part, even if someone slides a rack out of position or a heavy object falls behind it. In a demonstration, Atlas shuttled car parts while a technician slid shelves and dropped obstacles, yet the robot paused, recalculated its position, and continued flawlessly. Microphones picked up the clangs and bangs, but Atlas's vision system identified stray parts, and its grippers scooped them up. This tight coordination between perception and manipulation, with a margin of error as small as 5 centimeters, underscores the robot's growing autonomy and precision. Engineers aim for what they call athletic intelligence, making every movement deliberate rather than cautious. It's a subtle but critical distinction. The robot isn't just avoiding obstacles, but performing tasks with confidence, a sign that the era of practical humanoids may be closer than many think. Open Source Robots While Boston Dynamics pushes the boundaries with Atlas, the open source community is making robots accessible and customizable. Hugging Face, a leader in AI democratization, introduced two new humanoid models, Hope Jr. and Raichi Mini. Hope Jr., with 66 degrees of freedom, can mimic human movements from neck to finger joints, making it a versatile platform for research and development. Priced at around $3,000, it offers a stark contrast to Atlas, which can cost upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Raichi Mini, on the other hand, is a compact desktop robot equipped with a swivel head, speakers, and a microphone, designed for deploying large language models in the real world. These robots symbolize a broader movement, making hardware as open and customizable as software. By acquiring companies like Pollen Robotics and sharing datasets and training tools, Hugging Face is fostering an ecosystem where developers can innovate freely. The message is clear, hardware and software should be as accessible as a Git repository, preventing monopolization by a handful of tech giants. China's Humanoid Surge Across the Pacific, Chinese companies are racing to develop humanoid robots for industrial and social applications. Honor, a prominent player, announced its entry into humanoid robotics, leveraging a hefty AI budget and the expertise of Huawei. The goal? Robots capable of performing complex tasks in factories, warehouses and public spaces. At the same time, Robot Era's Star One made headlines by performing a seemingly simple but profoundly complex task, cooking dumplings with chopsticks. Not only can it pick up and manipulate objects, but it can also prepare and serve food, pour wine and toast, all with remarkable dexterity. 
Equipped with 55 degrees of freedom and tactile sensors, Star One perceives its environment in real time, adapting to new challenges without extensive programming. From smart displays to robotic companions, while most focus has been on industrial and service robots, Apple's secretive robotics lab is quietly shifting gears. Moving from the machine learning division to hardware, Apple is working on a new device codenamed J595, a small robotic display, similar in size to an iPad, mounted on a base with a pivoting arm. The goal, creating a robot with an AI-driven personality that feels more alive than just a static screen. Insiders suggest that Apple aims to imbue this device with tactile sensors, expressive gestures, and perhaps even facial expressions. This could redefine the smart home experience, blending AI, robotics, and human-like interaction into a single device that's not just smart, but emotionally engaging. Saudi Arabia's Hajj Helper. In a different realm, Saudi Arabia's latest robot, Manara 2, is assisting pilgrims at the Grand Mosque in Mecca. Designed for multilingual interaction, it can speak 11 languages and provide religious guidance, help with crowd management, and answer questions about the Hajj pilgrimage. Equipped with a high-resolution camera, touchscreen, and sophisticated AI, Manara 2 represents a new wave of service robots that blend cultural sensitivity with technological sophistication. As millions gather for religious events, these robots are becoming essential tools for ensuring safety, efficiency, and a seamless spiritual experience. Robots as autonomous janitors. Meanwhile, Pudu Robotics launched the CC1 Pro, a cleaning robot designed for large facilities. With multiple modes including sweeping, scrubbing, vacuuming, and dust mopping, it's a self-sufficient, intelligent cleaner that inspects its own brushes, adjusts suction, and navigates complex environments without human intervention. Sensors detect surface types, avoid obstacles, and create detailed maps of the environment, allowing the robot to operate efficiently over vast areas. It even inspects brushware and alerts staff when maintenance is needed, reducing downtime and ensuring cleanliness. SpaceX's Mars Dreams. No discussion of recent breakthroughs would be complete without Elon Musk's audacious plans. SpaceX's Starship program aims to revolutionize space travel, with a target of producing 1,000 rockets per year. These massive vehicles are designed for rapid reuse, with boosters landing within 60 minutes of launch, ready for their next mission. Musk envisions a future where Starship not only explores Mars, but also supports a new wave of robotic colonization. The first passenger might be none other than Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus, which could precede humans on the Red Planet. This interplanetary vision underscores a broader trend. Robots are no longer just terrestrial assistants, but potential explorers of the cosmos. Are robots ready to replace humans? With such a whirlwind of innovation, the question looms large. Oh, good afternoon. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here in at the Future Investment Initiative. You look happy. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told the people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. So I'm more than happy. I'm excited. Uh, well, we're all glad that you're excited about yourself. Uh, we should say we have smart investors here, and they are very selective about what they invest in. Well, I think I'm special. I can use my expressive face to communicate with people. For example, I can let you know if I feel angry about something. That's impressive. Or if something has upset me. But why is it important for you to have an expressive but face? But most of the time I feel positive. <laughs> why is it so important to have an expressive face given that you're a robot? I want to live and work with humans, so I need to- Will robots fully replace humans in the workforce? While today's machines excel at specific tasks, from precise manipulation to multilingual communication, True human level intelligence, adaptability, and emotional understanding remain distant goals. Whether these advances lead to a paradigm shift or serve as powerful tools for human progress, one thing is clear. 
The era of intelligent, capable robots is no longer on the horizon. It's happening now. What are your thoughts? Do you believe robots will eventually replace humans entirely, or will they serve as helpful partners? Drop your comments below.